Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and this is going to be a review slash comparison video on the latest Hot Toys Robocop figure. This is meant to be Robocop Free Robocop, even though it looks nothing like John Burke, uh, who played Robocop, I think that's his name, I haven't really even watched the whole movie when it comes to Robocop 3, it was pretty terrible, so I stick with the original and part 2 when I'm in the mood to watch some Robocop stuff, mainly part 1. Maybe the best film of the 80s, it's an absolute classic and really holds up well and I absolutely love it. It was also the first film that truly traumatized me as a kid. I was about eight years old, saw it way before I was supposed to and the Murphy death uh, really was very graphic and I was just not ready to see something like that. Uh, it still makes me feel a bit queasy to this day but absolutely incredible film. But It's a bit of a BS release from Hot Toys because it's clearly not Robocop 3 but I covered up the three with the card here, so it just looks like it's just a Robocop box. But yeah, a bit of a BS release. They've just changed the paint app a little bit, taken some things away, added some stuff to make it seem like a Robocop free figure. Uh, I prefer this base. It's not got that horrible uh, smooth surface that scratches just over time on its own. This one over here, uh, the original base from the first diecast Robocop figure that is scratched to hell and back it's just it looks terrible I'm more kind of tempted to get another one of these bases on eBay one day and have both of them on you know the same base um, yeah just weird stuff like you know this one over here the original he had a sound gimmick you know with samples of him speaking from the movie which you controlled with this nice little remote control here which doubles as like a you know Robocop nameplate uh, and if you remove the chest plate on this one, he still has the speaker, but no voice. Which, you know, I don't care if he has a voice, I always thought that was just a silly kind of gimmick, but, it's, you know, I guess some people enjoy it. I never used it on, I've never heard my figure speak, because I just never used that feature. But you still have that speaker underneath this chest plate, but they didn't bother giving you the voice. It's just lazy, feels like a cash grab. Uh, just Hot Toys, just doing their usual stuff. But... My reasoning for getting this figure was because a while back, uh, this original Robocop, he came with this base and a groin grabber to hold him in place. I replaced that with the waist grabber that you see here. I just had, you know, one of those lying around, so I replaced the groin grabber with a waist grabber because he did come off the shelf once. He landed on the carpet, but he did get the tiniest little mark somewhere up here on his helmet, and it's so small you can barely see it, but it always bugged me ever since it happened. So when this one was released, the blogger pictures made it look pretty nice, you know, with the, the new kind of color to the armor. And I thought, well, I can get this one because Robocop Hot Toys has always been one of my favorite things in the collection. It's definitely one of the very best things I have. So I thought I'll get this one, have it as my pristine looking Robocop in display, and I'll set the original up in his battle damage look with the, you know, the broken helmet with the eyes showing and the chest all bashed up. And then I'll have a battle damage and a clean version. But we'll get into it. It's, you know, a review slash comparison video, so I hope you enjoy it. And drop a like on it for me, share it around, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Instagram at DeanKnight333. Enjoy the video, folks. Now, something I noticed right away was I was trying to get the arms more flush to the sides on the new one without exposing the big gap that you get, you know, between the arm connecting to the shoulder area. And on the old one, you can get the arms nice and flush, pretty flush to his sides and still cover up those gaps and have it quite nice and flush so that you don't get those huge gaps between, you know, the shoulder area and the arms. Now, if you put them flush like this to get rid of the gaps on the new one, you just can't get the arms to sit by his sides. Now, as the review goes on, I'll try again and I'll see if I can get them more flush while still concealing the gaps. But at the moment, it seems like you can't do that on this one for some reason. So on the older one, you can conceal the gaps and have the arms quite flush to his side. On the new one, they're kind of doing that annoying Superman Hot Toys Henry Cavill thing where you just can't get the arms flush. So he's always kind of looks, you know, like this, which isn't bad. But I would like, especially seeing as it's just a kind of a repaint of the old one. How come I can't get the arms flush like this? on the new one. That is annoying. Speaking of annoying, he's a brand new figure, but there's this tiny little speck on his chest plate there, right in the middle. You see it? I'll see if I can point. You can see it anyway, but yeah, right there. And I haven't tried too hard to rub it away. I don't know if I should, but that 
pisses me off because he's meant to be a pristine Robocop and he's got all these little stupid little spots on him. Uh, and I've tried wiping them away, but I don't want to make it worse. It doesn't, it doesn't feel safe to rub on his armor too much, especially the chest plate, because that's not die cast, it's plastic. Uh, I think the die cast areas, if it's anything like this one, which I'm sure it is, uh, that's die cast. And this is die cast. And I think feet are die cast, maybe? They don't feel as cold, maybe not. So I think it's just these bits. That's plastic. This is plastic, that's plastic. That's plastic, this is die cast, this is plastic. So it's mostly plastic, but he is very heavy. He always has been, the new one is too. Jazzed up the lighting a little bit to brighten things up a bit. So with the arms flush by the side on the new one, you do get that horrible gap on either side, which you're never gonna wanna display it like that. So. It's a bit frustrating. Now I've got the arms as flush as I can on the old one while still maintaining that nice transition between them, the arm uh, and the shoulder area, the chest. Yeah, I think that looks really good. I mean that's as close as I'm going to want them to the body. I don't want him standing there like a soldier at attention. He looks like he's just kind of mooching about getting ready to take on the situation but this one just for some reason I can't get the uh, gaps to go away. Not even when I kind of turn them in, you know, sort of bring them in on the chest or turn them back or anything. It's just not happening. For some reason, I kind of prefer the original. <laughs> like, just visually as well. I know there's the nice, beautiful purple hues and um, blues in there. That kind of petrol in the puddle effect is what I always think of, but it's almost a little bit heavy handed. I don't know. I mean, the original, I think, had that very subtle in places. It's definitely, um, you know, if you turn the lights way down and you kind of set the lighting up a certain way, like back when I did the original showcase video of all the photography and stuff, I turn down the brightness now. Yeah, the original still. May still may be the one to be honest with you this is what I was wondering because one of the other reasons I got the new one was just because I didn't want to always be wondering should I have got it and then if it turns out to be hard to get see this looks really nice with the lights down low as well it's not really the lights down though it's more the camera settings I've just turned down but yeah I mean either way if you just want one Robocop and you want it to from the original movie. I mean, I don't think you can go too far wrong with either one of these. Now, if I zoom in when he's turned at this angle, you can really see the damage that I have on my chest plate. Now, that's right out of the box. See that horrible white kind of indentation? I thought it might have been something raised on top that I could just kind of flick away with my finger, but it's actually like an indent uh, into the chest plate. So I've messaged the seller in Hong Kong that I got it from. They got 100% 100 feedback, so hopefully they'll do something good here. I just need them to go to secret base in Hong Kong, whatever, and get the Hot Toys folks to give them a replacement chest plate and send it to me. Because I can't look at it like this. It's just horrible seeing that damage on his chest. He's supposed to be the pristine, you know, Robocop in my collection that's all minty fresh. He's got a horrible big chip out of his chest. And it's right there, like, it's going to always be right in your face whenever you look at it. And it's also devalued the hell out of him. I mean, you know, I paid a lot to get him from Hong Kong early. I say early, it took like two and a half weeks to get here. But, yeah. Shizer. Yeah, get a lot closer when I take a picture on my phone. Um, so you can see it looks really deep. It's horrible. It went straight through the paint and even goes into the actual sculpt of the chest plate. What the hell happened? I just noticed on the other side of the chest plate, there's, it's not the same thing, but there's like a dark uh, dot there, which I can't get rid of. I think there's another one down at the bottom there as well. So two dark little dots. And that horrible damage on the chest there. Some other little white things that won't go away. So all in all, very, very, very disappointed and not really too enthusiastic about doing the video anymore, to be honest with you, because I'm really disappointed with that. But we'll press on. Well, I was going through all the stuff in the box and I was looking 
for the extra chest plate with the damage but then I went on YouTube and had a look and I think it's just the special edition that came with the option of switching out the chest plate to the battle damage one so there's nothing I can do about that I'm stuck with this chest plate with damage on it it's supposed to be pristine but that's really annoying um, yeah I don't really mind about the fact that it's not the special edition because I definitely wouldn't have wanted this one with the damaged look anyway. I'm just going to see if I can get a replacement. Sorry, I know the video is dragging on a bit as far as all the damage to the chest stuff, but I'm just sharing with you. Maybe it will warn some folks out there. Be careful. Maybe get if you're getting it on eBay, get them to check it first. Double check the chest. Seems to be quite susceptible to bumps and scrapes and nicks. Okay, so we have the original mouth plates on the left and the new ones on the right. And the old ones still look absolutely fantastic. And the new ones here. Uh, pretty much the same. Is there a difference? Yeah, there's a bit of a color difference. Um, yeah. Bit more, bit warmer over here on the left and a bit more kind of cold looking over here on the right with the new Robocop 3 figure which makes sense because he is um, you know as sad as it is for poor old Murphy you know his face that you know was all that was left of him and uh, his skin was you know cold to the touch so it makes sense that he'd be pretty pale and uh, maybe even paler than this really but yeah there's definitely a color difference but can't really tell you which one I prefer. I guess I'd have to say these ones as far as, you know, it makes more sense that you'd be more pale, a bit more cold looking. But as far as the quality goes, they seem pretty evenly matched. Even though there's many years between them now. If I take the chest plate from the original Robocop here on the left and put it on the new one, it doesn't really work. There's too much of a purple tone on the arms compared to not much of it on the chest just stands out too much it looks like the chest is different from the rest of it so that is not an option just in case anyone was thinking that jetpack is really nice and so are the other little accessories that are very much part of the whole Robocop 3 look it's not something I'm going to be using so it's going to stay in the box and I recommend you check out some of the other videos on YouTube if you want to see what the figure looks like wearing this after discovering the damage to his chest I'm not risking putting anything else on here I could cause any damage to the rest of them. I'm very wary now. Bring the brightness down a little bit again, just give you a view from up above like this. Such a great looking piece, that's why I'm so disappointed about that damage, because other than that, this is a beautiful, beautiful piece. Really looks nice and low lighting. A lot of the videos that came out early on were light box videos, and I've never really been a fan of those. Especially for something like this, you really need to bring it down a bit. I mean, even the original one looks great. But there is a lot to appreciate with the new paint on this one. Well, I got a very quick reply from the seller. Uh, I only sent the message to him or her about five minutes ago. And already, apparently, they've spoken to Hot Toys, heard back and messaged me. Which does make me feel a bit suspicious because it's just very quick um, so sorry my friend I have asked Hot Toys manufacturers that they say that the question is not big unable to provide after sales replenishment services are you willing to accept partial compensation so I don't know what was going on in that beginning bit at the end of the sentence there that they say the question is not big are they just trying to say that the damage is not big enough to bother doing anything about or I don't know unable to offer after sales replenishment services well I don't want it replenished I want it replaced so maybe that's the first thing I should say I mean is he, if he's anywhere near Hot Toys secret base or whatever it is then surely he can go down there unless he's just some or she I don't know what the hell's going on they had 100% positive feedback and they seemed pretty good but I don't even know how much to, if it was partial refund, how much do you even ask for back for something so small, but so effective to the figure? I mean, it is a small area on the chest, but it just kills the whole figure for me. 
because all I can see now is that horrible dent where it cuts right through the actual paint and into the white underneath. So I'll message him back and uh, see what they can do for me. This is, was the original plan to display them like this with my first version from Hot Toys in this kind of Directive 4 struggling pose. And you can see the eye inside there. Beautiful battle damage on the helmet. Switched out the faceplate for the teeth showing. Come down here to the awesome work on the battle damage chest plate. And yeah, I could obviously do the pose better, I just did it quickly. Just to show you the kind of idea of the look I wanted to have this one in now that this one had arrived. And from, you know, regular view and distance about here, you can't really see the damage on his chest, but trust me folks, in person it really jumps out at you. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to see what the seller says. He hasn't responded back. I did reply to that message I showed you, just saying, look, are you anywhere near secret base? Uh, is there, you know, any chance you can go down there and just see if, I don't know how it works. Maybe because he's just a seller on eBay, they wouldn't help him, but... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll just have to learn to live with it. Try and get a partial refund. He has offered a partial refund, but I'm not too sure how partial it's going to be. Um, but yeah, that chest plate, it's really not coming across on camera very well. It looks like just a small little dot, but trust me, I can't get any closer because it will just blur up with this Canon camera. But it's a nasty dent, and it's not supposed to be there. And as you move around, um, you know, certain angles it's much worse than others. Like at this angle, you can really see the white underneath. Um, yeah, it's just hideous to look at, but it's a real pain in the butt. And obviously, the dark dots over here that just won't go away, but I could live with those little dark specks, but that is just ugly and there's no way around it. So you can see it from this distance as well. Once you know where it is, you just can't unsee it. It's such a shame because it's a beautiful figure. I mean, the other one is too. There's not much in it really, but I do love the tone of this one. You darken the camera a little bit and don't over light it. It can look incredibly real, incredibly real. Look at that. Alright now, with the figure on the rotating base, we'll take a look at the details as he turns in some nice lighting and just appreciate the beautiful work on the paint job on the armour. And it really is incredible folks, it looks so real. The last one did too, you know, no doubt about it, the original Robocop figure still looks incredible to this day. But there is definitely something to this paint job here that just brings it even more to life. It's just, especially the side profile there. It looks incredible. So, if you haven't got any Hot Toys Robocops yet and you really do want one. You know, it doesn't say Robocop 3 on the base. It just says OCP on the top and Robocop on the front. So this could be a really nice representation for the original Murphy Robocop figure for you in your collection. Even though it's not 100% accurate, you know, the armor is not quite as it appeared on film, but it's maybe a little bit closer than it was on the first Hot Toys release. There's also that quarter scale Enter Bay version, which I've never really seen in person, but that does look really good as well. But an absolutely incredible looking piece. Now, I can't pose him much just in case I do end up selling him back, uh, sending him back to the seller. And just getting a refund on it, which I really don't want to do because I really wanted this and I really still want it. It's beautiful. But I'm going to have to uh, kind of give you a bit of a short version of the review comparison because I can't really pose him much. I don't want to risk anything happening to him if I'm going to be boxing him up and sending him back to Hong Kong. But I will do as much as I can without doing too much, if you know what I mean. But take my word for it, it is an absolutely stunning figure. I mean, visually, apart from my damage situation that I have on my copy, visually it's it's obviously a 10 out of 10. It's absolutely beautiful. 
Now before we wrap it up folks, I did shoot some outdoor footage. The sun was going down very quickly and I was just so busy uh, and I suddenly remembered, oh damn it, I'm filming the review for Robocop tonight. I need some daylight footage of these guys, you know, side by side on the table in the garden. So that's what you're about to see. It's not as bright as I would like because as I say, it's very much dusk, but hopefully it's good enough for you just to see a true, you know, a true light you know, video representation of how these two look side by side. So check that footage out now and I'll come back then, give you my final thoughts and a score out of 10 on this new Hot Toys Robocop free figure. Just comparing to some of these reference pictures we have, um, you know, this does seem to have a fair bit of color to it. And again, here, but I guess this is at night with you know various lights around him. Is that nighttime? I think it is. Doesn't really look nighttime behind him, but the reflections in his armor kind of look like night. Uh, and this shot here, where he sorts out the the robber. Um, in this picture here and with a lot of the scenes in the film in Robocop 1 the back of the helmet does seem to have a fair bit of colour to it and you can definitely see that there um, so yeah judging by the pictures we got here you know and all the you know the clips from the film that I can check out on YouTube and just my memory um, you know I'd say this is a bit closer than the original bit too silver bit too kind of just that kind of bright silver on the original version, which is just a bit too bright. That, that doesn't seem like the right word. You know what I mean though? It's, it's not quite that gun metal or whatever. It's quite a, you know, it's quite a bright silver. Um, whereas over here, it definitely comes down in tone a bit and just looks very, very good. All right, so I was just editing this review and I couldn't find the end of the review anywhere. Uh, just the bit where I give you my final thoughts and the score out of 10, just not on the memory card, even though I'm pretty damn sure I recorded it. So I'll do it again. And maybe it's for the best because I don't usually film like this, but it actually looks quite cool. Just holding it in your hand and moving it around. Uh, don't take that wrong. But um, yeah, as long as you don't end up with what I've ended up with, which is a damaged brand new figure, uh, then this is an easy 9 out of 10, maybe 9.5. It's beautiful. I can't give it a full 10 because it's marked up as a Robocop 3 figure, but it's clearly not uh, John Burke from, you know, Robocop 3. It's, it's Alex Murphy. It's Peter Weller, again, with a updated paint job. Um, so, yeah, like a 9 out of 10, definitely. But make sure you get your Robocop figure, particularly, you know, this figure. Try and get it from a official Hot Toys distributor like Sideshow Collectibles or Hot Toys themselves because they can get you replacement parts if you need them. Um, the eBay seller I was talking to who I got this from has gone dark on me now. It's been a good few hours since that original reply which I got and I did reply back. Uh, you know, pointing out when they said get it refurbished and they can't do that. I said I don't want it refurbished, I just need a replacement chest plate and you know I was assuming seeing as they had these available day one on eBay, they must have got them from Hot Toys. They'd have receipts and they can go back and say, look, one of the figures uh, I bought from you has a damaged chest plate. Can we get another one? But they don't seem like it's how quick they replied to that first message. They can't have spoken to Hot Toys in that short, short space of time and then got back to me. I just didn't, it didn't feel right in my gut. It felt like they were just kind of fobbing me off and offering me a partial refund. 
So we'll see what happens. But other than all that bollocks, the figure is like an easy nine out of 10, great piece. They, you know, I recommend it, but just be careful. Uh, it's been a crappy experience and I'm glad to see the back of this video once it's done. I'll let you know in the future maybe what happens with this, maybe in the live stream coming up soon, but I'm utterly disappointed and not feeling too good right now. So get this video done, get it uploaded. It's about 5 a.m. now, so have to get to bed soon, but I'm determined to get at least half an hour of cyberpunk in before I hit the bed because I just need a bit of time to chill out because I'm feeling pretty stressed. So I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.